What's up guys? Ben from Northeastern Pennsylvania Motorsports today and today we're here with uh, Teddy's quad and what are we going to be doing today Teddy? Uh, we're going to change the front wheel bearings and the uh, Raptor. Alright, so what do you got to do first? Uh, take the wheel off. Alright. Alright guys, uh, now that we got the front wheel off, we need to go right ahead and these bolts right here, there's one right here and one down here you can't see that but uh we gotta go ahead and detach them and then it looks like we're gonna have to detach the brake neck and mechanism there so we can get the hub off to replace the bearings all right guys so uh now that we got these two bolts taken out and this brake mechanism the hub will slide right off along with the brake Talking. All right, guys. So, uh, next, what we're gonna do is, you see, you're gonna have oh, wrong side. You're gonna have these uh, dust covers or bearing covers or whatever you want to call them. They're gonna be pretty firmly jammed in there. But you're gonna want to take a regular screwdriver. And they're not gonna be in there right now because I already. Oh, actually, I might be able to show you. But then, you're just gonna work the screwdriver in here and then pop them out. They're going to be pretty difficult depending on how bad your bearings are. But after you get both of them out, there will be one on each side. So just pop those two out. And then you're going to want to get a socket. Well, this is a couple different ways that we're going to try to get this bearing out of the hub. Uh, first way that we're going to try to do is the easiest with a socket that matches this diameter right here. And a ball peen hammer and you're going to try to pound it out. Or we're going to end up using a cutting torch and cutting them completely out. All right, guys. All right. So uh, what we ended up doing was uh, actually taking a punch and going down on the inside and getting down around the outside of this bearing and punching it out until it came completely out. So that's what we had to end up doing. So just try what you can do. There's a bunch of different ways that you can... Uh, take get a bearing out, but now that we got the bearing out, we just need to get this other bearing out, and then we can get back to replacing them. All right, guys. So, uh, if my camera will be so clear to show you that we did get both bearings, the spacer, and the end caps off, and just sprayed it out with parts cleaner, just to make sure that it's completely clean. We will now begin to reassemble it with brand new dust caps and brand new bearings. Not on a freaking bench. I mean, All right, guys. So now we uh, got the first dust cap in as well as the small bearing. And what you're going to do is with my... I know that the socket did not work the first time for us, but it did work extremely well the second time, just to pound it to the border of how deep it's supposed to be in. Then you're going to put this dust cap on top, and that'll just sit right on top of your bearing and sit right on that border. And then your the tip of your spacer is going to go away from the brake disc. So you're just going to set that down in there, and it'll fit real well. And then you have the big bearing. We'll, we'll do a little video of putting this in now I know that this isn't the most ethical way to do it but how I did it you just start hold it Teddy you're just gonna start tapping around in a circle until it goes flush and I'm you're, you're not supposed to I'm not hitting too hard in case it is the least bit off centered all right now what we were gonna do no 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 you need to get your big socket that'll fit over there. Uh, I need a deep one. That won't work. Neither will that. This will have to do. So if you want to videotape that for me, Teddy. You're going to take this right here in the center of that bearing. the shit out of it. Now, where's that uh, dust cap? It's not going to fit in good yet, because that's just going to tell you that we need to keep going. And as long as it's not, as long as you still have play in that spacer, you have a ways to go. Ah, 
I just crushed my knuckle. So, well, is this ready to go in yet, Daddy? Mm -hmm. And then, bam, walk through step by step on how to replace front end bearings in an ATV. And what particular machine is this? A uh, 2005 Raptor 350. All right, guys, so uh, we got the hub back on the quad or axle, I guess you could say. And we got this spacer in here that we took out when we took the hub off of the quad. And now our only issue is that uh, Teddy decided to be autistic and squeeze these brakes. Squeeze that handle up there and then it closed these brake shoes. So now we got to mess with them. So we'll be back. Alright guys, so uh, we got the brake mechanism back on and the bearings are in and fresh. Just that the brake shoes are dragging a little bit or at least I hope that's what that is. So we're just going to... Put the wheel back on the quad and run her and hopefully she figures herself out. Alright guys, so uh, we got the quad all back together. The new bearings and the front wheel still tilts a lot. So I'm thinking that it's something with the arms. But now we're gonna now we're gonna take her out for a test spin. Work before play. Anytime, Teddy. bar install all right guys so all right guys so uh this will be the end of this video on how to replace the front end bearings in an atv or specifically a raptor 350r so as always make sure to like comment and subscribe for more awesome motorsports content until next time knee pam out